People don't realize that when they're looking at them that they're looking at animals that have been around as long as dinosaurs. If you want to get a good look at sturgeon, the easiest way is a trip to San Francisco's Aquarium of the Bay. They're absolutely just these lumbering beauties. Where beauty may be in the eye of the beholder. It's a face only a mother could love. It's a face that's been around since the time of the dinosaurs. Here at the aquarium, they do get plenty of love. We're keeping a close eye on the water quality as we do 365 days a year. But out in the bay, water quality became an issue last August as an algal bloom, known as a red tide, killed scores of fish across the bay area, including many sturgeon. So the fear that um, sturgeon biologists have right now is that uh, we can't fully quantify the amount of mortality. The state tallied more than 600 sturgeon carcasses in areas like the San Pablo Bay. But UC Davis researcher Andrea Schreier worries that's just the tip of the iceberg. We know that hundreds died, but it could actually be more like thousands. Although sturgeon have been around thousands of years, they face many challenges. They don't reproduce until late in life and don't spawn every year. White sturgeon are in decline, but green sturgeon are listed as threatened. Any extra loss of individuals of green sturgeon puts them closer and closer to extinction. Environmental watchdog San Francisco Baykeeper recorded these aerial shots showing the red tide. They blame the algal bloom on releases from sewage plants coupled with drought and rising water temperatures. Baykeeper is advocating for uh, a stronger permit regulating nutrients from wastewater treatment plants. That's the root cause of this problem. Unfortunately, these things like harmful algal blooms are going to continue to happen because we have continued drought. Schreier is also urging the state to reconsider current regulations that allow a white sturgeon fishery. Is to switch maybe even temporarily from a harvest fishery to a catch and release fishery. So we're worried that this large mortality event is going to cause the population to decline faster than what it already was. Sturgeon can live more than 100 years, growing up to six feet, spending their time in both fresh and salt water. The recent die-off has their fans hoping these ultimate survivors can survive some more. Joe Rosado, Jr. They're swimming dinosaurs. NBC Bay Area News.